Sunday, March 31st. Now, yesterday, we were down at the Brook Church, June Van Dunk's art show called Faces of the Land. And we had some interesting speakers. The whole program opened with Johnny Dennison's wonderful interpretation of America the Beautiful, paying homage to Ray Charles's version. It was, it was moving. And uh, it was followed, of course, by Chief Dwayne Perry, who talked to us about the Ramapo Nation and, and its history and its identity. And that was followed by Joe Allen, the filmmaker. He talked a, a good bit about the significance of story and how story is told and what it means to come, come to own story. And then there was um, Gordon Wren, yeah, former commissioner of uh, building and zoning in town of Ramapo. Boy, does he know what he's talking about. He talked about the impact of development on our watershed. And then a very special guest, Karina Gore. She's the uh, director for the Center of Earth Ethics. And she talked again about the impact of development on ecosystems and what that means and how it's all connected. And I talked, I, I spoke about cemeteries and rattlesnakes. <laughs> it was all brought together by June Van Dunk and by her artistry, her amazing artistry. June Van Dunk's artistry actually speaks to us of Ramapo identity and at the same time, the significance of saving our, our very frail ecosystem, that which we need to live off of. And we had another special guest. We had Warthog. He's right here. See him? That's Warthog. This is one of June's works, Warthog. And it, if, you, if you think that this looks uh, colorful in terms of composition, looks very African-influenced, it is. Look closely at the background. See, this is the background. Instead of the green hills of Ramapo in the background, you see pyramids. Huh. And then you see up here, this is an Algonquin sun totem. You see an infusion of both cultures. Yeah. When, when I was a little boy, after my grandfather passed away, uh, my dad and my uncle took me to see an old black storyteller who told me these wonderful stories of these talking animals. And the most interesting character was Warthog, a, a Nigerian type animal, a species right from the river basin in Africa. Yeah. And uh, there were other animals. I mean, there was alligator, there was monkey, there was lion. But the warthog, this character right here, ah, he was funny. He was audacious. He was, he was arrogant. And at the same time, he could be clever. Yeah, warthog. If you look very closely at the top of him, let me get around this side. See, up here. It, this is a, a crown. Warthog, in his own mind, sees himself as a king. That's part of the warthog character. Yeah, a little bit of Africa infused in Algonquin story. Hmm, interesting. Warthog. Well, thank you, June. Thank you again. Great program yesterday. And I love, I love Warthog. See you again tomorrow.